Instead of modeling my jewelry search after breakfast at Tiffany's, I'd like to update the classic to fit my green lifestyle. Which brings me to Brilliant Earth. When I was getting engaged, I had a really challenging time finding a diamond that I felt good about. And I really thought for such an important emotional purchase that they're going to keep with them for the rest of their lives, it's going to be the symbol of a relationship, there really should be an ethical alternative. So friends Beth Gerstein and Eric Grossberg have teamed up to offer that alternative, jewelry made with social and environmental responsibility. Well, this looks gorgeous. Can I have one of everything? <laughs> <laughs> we'll have to check out on that one. It may look just like fine jewelry, but it's a whole lot more. Well, our diamonds are traced back from the mines to final delivery to make sure that there are fair labor practices, uh, all environmentally friendly practices as well, and community development. Everything that we carry is coming from a clean and ethical source. With coffee, you have fair trade. Uh, with timber, you have something like the Forest Stewardship Council. Jennifer Horning co-founded Ethical Metalsmiths to help bring about a fair standard in the mining industry. 70% of the metals and the diamonds that are mined come from developing countries. And there's a lot of concern about exploitation in those mines and conflict and the use of toxics that then go back into a community. So Brilliant Earth sought out two mines in Canada known for their high standards. And those mines have probably the best practices in the world for the environment, for fair labor practices, and also for giving back to the communities in which they're located. And gemstones are also in the conflict and fair trade range. Oh, absolutely. We trace everything back to the mine to make sure they're fair labor practices. But we do hope that some of the standards that we set for ethical origin jewelry will start to trickle down in the industry. Plus, the bands they offer are all made from recycled gold and platinum. The nice thing about gold and platinum, because they're pure elements, is if you re-refine them, you're basically re-purifying them back to the 100% pure element. So it's just as beautiful, just as durable as the original gold or platinum would have been. Gold mine is actually one of the most destructive mining industries. One engagement ring could create 30 tons of waste. Um, so by recycling, you prevent all of these harmful practices. You don't want your symbol of love to be tarnished by environmental and social conflict or degradation. People just light up when they receive it, and especially knowing that it's conflict-free, there's certification backing up that it's all Canadian. I would want every person to think when they're making a jewelry purchase, what is this going to do for the rest of the world? Yep, I'd say uh, recycled and conflict-free diamonds are a girl's best friend.